Great to have you all with us. Let's get started, shall we? Um, the first story is about U.S. lenders preparing for a recession. Uh, the story comes from Reuters, and apparently worrying that a recession is coming, the U.S. lenders are looking to reduce risks, specifically Lending Club, Cabbage, Avant LLC. They're all starting to scrutinize loan quality a lot more, <laughs> funnily enough. It makes you wonder, were they not doing that before? Um, unlike banks, which tend to have lower cost and more stable deposits, Online lenders rely on market funding that can be harder to come by in times of stress. Uh, and their underwriting methods also include analysis of non-traditional data. So it's not just they're going to the market for funding. They've got different underwriting, apparently. Uh, any thoughts on this one? Well, the interesting thing for me is that... Um First of all, they're not all reliant on market funding. Um, people like Cabbage have got quite a lot of other ways of securing their loans. In fact, Cabbage in Europe is actually a technology platform rather than a, than a lender. But um, in the US, yes, they do underwrite their own loans. Um, I think the really interesting thing for me is that, like, you know, um, there was sort of a news out this week that JP Morgan had posted good results, so that, that headed off the idea of a recession. Well, Scott Sanborn, who's the, the CEO of Lending Club, said it's not if, it's when, and it's not five years away. Um, just I, mean, I, I just to, to the point, one point to make there is that, yes, they look at non-traditional data, so maybe they have insight that other people don't have at this point is interesting. Um, well, yeah. I think is interesting. Lending is a cyclical business. Anyone who thinks it's not is wrong. It's just been a really, really long 10-year period. I was at a breakfast the other day and uh, one of those Chatham House, no one talks about at breakfasts, but a lot of uh, bank <laughs> tell us, CEOs, tell us, tell us <laughs> a lot of bank CEOs, including the Bank of England, um, were saying that it's been 10 years and like the departments, all the institutional knowledge about how to cope in that period of recession, that period of downturn is gone. Yeah. Like banks have slowly been, you know, gutting the departments that handle that sort of like um, collections and, and, and accounts and arrears to the point now where like they've lost a lot of institutional knowledge because it's been such a boom period for so long. I was just going to say, I mean, the, the, the thing about uh, alternative risk is quite interesting because, you know, SoFi kind of coined this like Henry high earning, not rich yet market where they basically lend to like Ivy Leaguers and, and assume the best. And, and it's quite interesting to to kind of contrast that to the, the fact, obviously, like it's still an early business and, um, you know, past performance doesn't necessarily equal future. Um, and, you know, although those people right now are in good positions in, in on paper, they're good, you know, will they have the same growth and, and uh, salary opportunities as their parents' generations and the people that come before them? And I think they're kind of banking quite a bit on on perhaps that, that, that just sort of following this cycle. And, it just and, keeps going. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but my, point, my point was to make that people like Lending Club in particular, I mean, Lending Club has messed up. A few of these guys have got this wrong. They've got these models wrong and it's been very public and very painful and they've had to go back and recalibrate. So if anything, I think to sort of counter Simon's point, if anybody's learned a lot recently, it's these guys. They they have had made mistakes. They've made mistakes in their calculations. They've had loan books go wildly awry and suffered horribly for it. So I don't think it's surprising that they're being cautious. I also do agree with the point that there is there is a break point coming. And, you know, if you've already been burned once, you can let yourself be burnt twice. Well, the banks may be, but these guys are going, no, I don't think so. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I remember at Treasury when I was there in 2009 and the whole sort of, you know, has it, has it unfolded, you'd think 10 years on from now, A, they would have learned a bit, but also there'd be better data around things to do with the stuff. I don't know. I just think that there's this big data wave going on around trying to make better informed decisions. You'd think the lenders would actually know a little bit more. Maybe it's this sort of, you know, non-financial. I, I think that's sort yeah. of to Sarah's point yeah. a little bit, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. Some have, some haven't. Yeah. Um, Post-2008, some people just set up because nobody was lent none of the big banks were lending. So there was an opportunity to make money by lending coming out of a recession. Some of them seem to have taken the data-driven model and being able to be doing something genuine. Some of them have already messed up. But the one thing you consistently heard from banks was, ah, we'll see those guys in the next recession. And actually, I always thought that was a bit too sort of biased I think you will see some of them come out of the wash inevitably in the next recession. But also, there is something to be said for looking at data in smart new ways to identify profitable risk that wasn't there before. And I think people forget that Zopa went through a recession and is still standing. So Zopa was founded before the recession and was lending before the recession and is still going. Um, so I don't think, you know, I, I think this, let's point to the recession and see how it works for them. I, I don't think that yeah. argument holds much ground But Zopa have gone for a banking license. Yeah, yeah, but they have, but they, but they are still working as a, as a lender. They were actually one of the first lend, uh, alternative lenders to be profitable. I mean, whether they are still profitable, given how much they've outlaid and everything else is, is but that's... A, I think that's beside, that's beside my point. It's not beside the point. <laughs> yeah, well said. All right. Um, well, we spoke to...